Good morning, viewers. <clears throat> Rob Atfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. It's February 2015. We're at the Winter Workshop here of the Antique and Classic Boat Society. And we're at the workshop of Tom Adams in Port Carling. Tom's got a huge project on the go. Well, two actually, uh, at least two. We've got this Gravette Sunflash that he's working on. But the big project this morning is this incredible manette from the early 1900s. 50-foot boat in for a new bottom. We're going to learn some uh, woodworking techniques, I believe, this morning. Some engine techniques or skills or knowledge that uh, antique boaters should have regarding their antique engines. And there's going to be a demonstration, I believe, or an explanation of different propeller types. Stay tuned. Viewers, we're looking here at photographs of Rita. She's a 1914 Manette, 50 footer, one huge boat. She's in for a new bottom. She's going to, she's currently powered by a 1938 Sterling Petrol engine. She comes from an island on Lake Muskoka, and the engine's going to undergo a complete rebuild by Matt Fairbrass. We're going to talk to some of the, several of the restorers working on Rita in just a moment. But uh, in the meantime, I'll pan around and give you a look. I'm personally amazed that they were able to get the boat into the shop, all 50 feet of her. Let's go top sides. And it's still supported, weirdly enough, very quickly. It can still light a cutter, she can still get the gas. Apparently, uh, Rita has been in d dry dock for eight or nine years. She was taking on water, I understand. But her new owner is obviously sparing no expense to uh, restore her to her former glory. It's going to be a 20-month project. I understand that the hull is being replaced from the water line down. First, I wasn't sure what all the holes were doing in the uh, hull. But we're going to have that explained to us. I should have known. Certainly an all-weather boat for Lake Muskoka. Sudden rainstorm could mean the passengers could escape in the sedan section. Beautiful mahogany cabinetry. What a wonderful party boat as well. Anyway, let's talk to one of the staff at Tom's, Tom Adams shop that's working on Rita. Here we have Terry viewers. Terry's uh, been working on Rita for a while now and he's going to describe some of the below the waterline work that's going on. Terry, over to you. Okay. Um, Everybody keeps asking about the holes. Well, the holes is because we're replacing the planks right from the water line down. And we need the holes in there to hold the shape of the new ribs that we're putting in so they can hold the memory of the hull of the boat. As they hold the memory of the hull of the boat, once we get them in there and they're dry, the next day we come in and then we scarf them into where the old ribs are. And we'll replace them the same way as what Manette would have done in his boats. So we're trying to keep the detail to what Manette would have done on his boats to what we're doing here today. Okay. And, and I think you mentioned that the holes also help to hold the clamps? Yes, they hold the clamps. And when the clamps go in the boat, the clamps are holding the ribs to hold the memory of the, of the, of the boat. Once they've held the memories and glued the, the new rib into the old place of the old rib, we scarf them in and we epoxy just the scarf itself. Okay. And once we've got the scarf in, we put the screws in just to hold it to the hull of the boat. Once we've held it to the hull of the boat, then later on when we put the new planks, then we can pull up two planks and we can work on the top plank. Once we work on the top plank, then we rivet them back into the boat. So we we'll rivet it right back and these screws will be disappearing. Right. And we have okay. a new rib to rivet to as we carry on. And right. we also put new frames in wherever is needed. And the reason why we're putting a new bottom on is because there's rot here and there. And there's also these short belts that you see here. 
that shouldn't be there, so we're going to run the plank straight up here to the to the, oh, to the back. And as we carry on through the boat, it will become uh, right back to original uh, state. Okay. And we're going to bring everything all back up to uh, code of the boat. And, and the integrity of the boat will be still uh, stayed because we uh, secured all of them, all the ribs as we went through. So all the integrity will be staying there, and then when we put in our new planks, it will be the integrity will still be there for everything to hold on to. Right, gotcha. Huge project. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, congratulations. It's a major work of art. Now, just before we leave, Terry, why is it not good to have short planks toward the bow? More too well, susceptible to rock. Because if they hit rock or if they hit something. They can easily crush right there. Okay. And that's the reason why they should be replaced. Right. They only did that as a patch for now, but there's been so many patches done in this boat that we're trying to fix it to this complete new board right through. So the butt blocks aren't sitting in the same place. The butt blocks are sitting far enough from each other that they're going to keep the integrity of the boat. Okay. Thank you very much. Terry. Viewers, just before we leave, we'll just take a longitudinal view of the boat here. As you see, we worked our way. As you see, we worked our way down, and we're already into the bathroom section with the ribs. Wow! And uh, we got to fight a little bit more to get the old ribs out of the back because there's, there's so many sister ribs and so many butt blocks put in that we're going to take all them out first before we actually get to the rib itself. Right. And once we get to the rib itself, we replace the rib beside it, hold its memory. And then we glue it back, and then we take them out, and then put new ones in, in its place. Great. And we carry on right through. Very skilled work. Congratulations. Thank you. And all the best with the continued restoration of this beautiful Minette Rita. There you have it, viewers. Over and out. Viewers, we're looking here at uh, photos of the Bella Vista, the third. She's a 1928 Minette Shields, a 28-footer. She's been brought into Tom Adams' shop for a strip and a refinish of the decks and halls, new upholstery, and the uh, 1943 Chrysler Royal engine is going to undergo a complete rebuild by Matt Fairbrass. The engine's out of the boat at this uh, point, but let's take a look. <clears throat> she seems to be at the finishing stages here. A dual cockpit with a mother-in-law seat in the front here. And Tom and his staff are using uh, putty for the seams. Putty's still wet. We're advised not to touch it. Engine compartment, of course. And a very spacious rear cockpit. Looks like the original leather, leather steering wheel here. Seriously, It's going to be a beauty when she's done. I'm in there and get it all installed. I can't go.